Samantha Ray's heart pounded in her chest as she crested the ridge, the blistering Saharan sun beating down on her sweat-soaked neck. The ancient city of Zerzura shimmered like a mirage in the distance, its crumbling sandstone walls and towering obelisks rising from the shifting dunes like the bones of a long-dead leviathan. Sixteen years. That's how long she'd been searching for this fabled lost city, chasing whispers and legends across the globe. Sixteen years since that fateful night in Cairo, when the man she loved more than life itself shattered her heart into a million jagged pieces. Gritting her teeth against the sting of tears, Samantha urged her camel forward, the beast's hooves sinking into the shifting sands. She couldn't think about him now. Couldn't let the memory of his betrayal, his cruel parting words, invade her focus. Not when she was so close to her goal. The Eye of R.A.R.E. An artifact of immeasurable power, said to grant eternal life to whoever possessed it. A mere myth, most said. A fool's quest. But Samantha knew better. She'd seen the ancient texts, traced the clues left by civilizations long turned to dust. And now, after a lifetime of searching, she was on the threshold of the discovery of the century. As she approached the outer walls of Zerzura, a flicker of movement caught her eye. A shadow darting between two crumbling pillars, too fast to be a trick of the light. Samantha's hand went instinctively to the weathered grip of her pistol, the weight of the weapon a reassuring presence at her hip. She wasn't naive enough to think she was the only one searching for the eye. History was littered with the bones of those who'd sought its power, driven to madness or destruction. Rival archaeologists, treasure hunters, even governments, all would kill to possess such a prize. Dismounting her camel, Samantha tied the beast to a scraggly desert bush and approached the city gates on foot, every nerve in her body humming with tension. The weathered wood yielded easily under her touch, revealing a labyrinth of narrow winding streets beyond. Silence reigned, broken only by the wind whistling through the ruins and the soft crunch of her boots on sand-strewn cobblestones. The hair on the back of Samantha's neck prickled, an icy finger of dread tracing her spine. She was being watched, hunted. Rounding a corner, she found herself in a small plaza, dominated by a towering statue of the sun god Roddy Dottie D. His sightless stone eyes seemed to bore into her very soul, ancient and unforgiving. And there, glinting in the hollow of the statue's throat, was the object of her quest. The Eye of Ah Ah. Samantha's breath caught, her heart stuttering in her chest. After all this time, all the sacrifices, it was, finally, within her grasp. One last puzzle to solve, one final test of her skill and courage. Stealing herself, she approached the dais. But before her foot could touch the first step, a voice rang out across the plaza. A voice that froze the blood in her veins, conjured a ghost from her past to haunt her present. Hello, Sam, daddy. It's been a long time. Slowly, Samantha turned. And there he was. The man she'd once loved more than life itself. The man who'd left her broken and bleeding in a Cairo back alley 16 years ago. Declan Shaw. Archaeologist. Treasure hunter. Thief of hearts and antiquities alike. He stepped out of the shadows, still devastatingly handsome, despite the lines etched into the corners of his eyes the streaks of silver threading his dark hair. A knowing smirk curved his lips as he beheld her shock, her pain, the white-knuckled grip she maintained on her gun. Easy there, love, he drawled, splaying his hands. Is that any way to greet an old friend? We're not friends, Samantha bit out, fighting to keep her voice steady. You lost the right to call me that when you left me for dead and ran off with the Osiris amulet. Declan clicked his tongue. Ah, Sam, dot a. You always did know how to hold a grudge. He took a step towards her, eyes glittering with that old familiar mix of danger and desire. Why don't you put the gun away so we can talk properly? For old time's sake. Samantha's hand shook on the pistol grip, an errant tear tracing the curve of her cheek. Damn him. Damn him for still having this effect on her, even after all he'd done. All the heartache and betrayal. There's nothing left to say, she whispered. Except goodbye. She raised her gun, finger poised on the trigger. 
But before she could complete the motion, a shot rang out. Searing pain exploded in her shoulder, and she staggered back, crimson blooming across the khaki of her shirt. Declan spun, drawing his own weapon in a fluid motion. A dozen armed men poured into the plaza, faces obscured by swirling scarves. Samantha recognized the insignia, emblazoned on their tunics, a black scorpion on a field of crimson. The sons of Circuit. Ruthless mercenaries employed by the highest bidder. Get the eye, their leader shouted in guttural Arabic. Kill the interlopers. Gunfire erupted, bullets pinging off stone. Declan dove at Samantha, tackling her behind the meager cover of a fallen pillar as the world exploded into blood and chaos around them. She struggled against him, still clutching her bleeding shoulder, but he held her fast. Damn it, woman, he growled in her ear. I'm trying to save your life. I don't need saving, she hissed back, even as tears of pain and fury coursed down her cheeks. Least of all from you. Their eyes locked, stormy gray and fathomless blue, a thousand unspoken words simmering between them. Regret and resentment, desire and despair, forgiveness and fury. The history of a love as vast and unconquerable as the desert itself. Please, Sam. Declan whispered, his calloused palm rough against her cheek. Let me help you. Let me make this right. Samantha closed her eyes, a shuddering breath escaping her lungs. The sounds of battle faded to a distant roar as she wrestled with the choice before her. Trust the man who'd betrayed her so long ago. Or face certain death alone, her quest unfulfilled. In the end, there was only one answer she could give. One path forward, rocky and treacherous as it might be. Fine, she breathed. But if you leave me again, I swear to God I'll put a bullet between your eyes myself. A ghost of his old smile quirked Declan's lips. That's my girl, he murmured. Then he was holding her to her feet, steadying her against him as they prepared to face the storm. Bullets whizzed past as Samantha and Declan dashed through the labyrinthine streets of Zerzura, the shouts of the Sons of Circuit echoing off the crumbling walls. Samantha's shoulder burned with each jarring step, hot blood oozing between her fingers, but she gritted her teeth and pushed on. She'd endured worse. And she'd be damned if she let a little thing like a bullet stop her now, with the eye of Ra almost within her grasp. Declan's hand was firm around hers, his calloused fingers interlaced with her own like puzzle pieces, finally snapping into place after years of separation. It felt so right, so achingly familiar, that fresh tears stung Samantha's eyes. Tears of pain, of longing, of the bittersweet ache of a love lost and found and lost again. He led her down a narrow alley, the space barely wide enough for them to pass through single file. The sounds of pursuit faded to a distant clamor, muffled by the twists and turns of the ancient city. At last, they emerged into a small courtyard, hemmed in by high sandstone walls. A crumbling fountain stood at its center, long dried up, the statue of a rearing cobra presiding over the bone-dry basin. Declan released her hand, and Samantha felt the loss like a physical ache. He turned to face her, gray eyes stormy with an emotion she couldn't quite read. Regret? Longing? Fear? Let me see your shoulder, he said roughly, already reaching for her blood-soaked shirt. Samantha flinched back, instinctively covering the wound. It's fine, she bit out, though the throb of agony begged to differ. We don't have time for this. We need to get the eye before d Damn it, Sam! Declan's voice cracked like a whip, anguish etched into every line of his face. Will you just let me help you for once in your stubborn life? The words hung between them, weighted with the history of a thousand arguments, a thousand moments of pride and pain and unbearable longing. I'm going. Slowly, Samantha lowered her hand, allowing him to peel back the sticky fabric of her shirt. Declan's breath hissed through his teeth at the sight of the ugly wound, the flesh torn and seeping. Wordlessly, he shrugged out of his own shirt, the lean muscles of his chest and abdomen rippling in the harsh desert light. Samantha's heart stuttered, desire and resentment warring in her blood as he tore the fabric into strips, 
and began to bind her injury with surprisingly gentle hands. Why are you here, Declan? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Why now, after all this time? His fingers stilled on her skin, his head bowed as if under an invisible weight. I heard whispers. About the eye. About you. He met her gaze, and the raw pain she saw there stole her breath. I couldn't let you face this alone. Not again. Not after. Everything. Samantha swallowed hard, fighting back the swell of emotion that threatened to engulf her. Sixteen years of heartache and betrayal, of unanswered questions and dreams that turned to dust. And yet, beneath it all, the embers of a love that refused to die. A flame that consumed everything it touched, leaving only ash and obsession in its wake. You left me, she whispered, the words torn from some deep, wounded place inside her. You left me bleeding in that alley and ran off with the amulet. You broke my heart, Declan. Shattered it beyond repair. A single tear traced the angular plane of his cheek, glistening like a diamond in the merciless sun. I know, he said hoarsely. God, Sam, I know. And not a day has gone by that I haven't regretted it. That I haven't hated myself for what I did to you. He cupped her face in his hands, Kalu's thumbs brushing away the tears she hadn't even realized were falling. But I'm here now, and I swear to you, on everything I hold dear, that I will never leave your side again. That I will spend the rest of my life making this right if you'll let me. Samantha's heart swelled and cracked, hope and despair intertwined. She wanted so badly to believe him, to fall into his arms and let the past wash away like sand in the desert wind. But the scars ran too deep, the wounds too raw. Trust, once shattered, could not be easily rebuilt. I don't know if I can, she breathed, each word a shard of glass in her throat. I don't know if I'm strong enough to survive losing you again. Declan's lips quirked in a sad, crooked smile. You're the strongest person I know, Samantha Ray. You always have been. He leaned forward, resting his forehead against hers. But you don't have to be strong alone anymore. Let me share the burden. Let me fight at your side as I should have all those years ago. Samantha closed her eyes, breathing in the scent of him. Sweat and spice, leather and desert wind. The scent of adventure, of passion, of a love that defied all odds. And in that moment, she knew. Knew that whatever the future held, whatever dangers and betrayals might lie ahead, she could face them all with this man by her side. Okay, she whispered. The word of benediction and a promise. Okay. Declan's smile was blinding, brighter than the Saharan sun. He captured her lips in a searing kiss, pouring sixteen years of longing and regret into the press of his mouth on hers. Samantha returned the kiss with equal fervor, her good arm winding around his neck to pull him closer. The world fell away, the suns of circuit, and the eye of Ra fading to insignificance in the face of this perfect, shining moment. A piece of her heart slid back into place, jagged edges knitting together with a jolt of bittersweet pain. But the reprieve was short-lived. A shout echoed across the courtyard, shattering the spell. Declan and Samantha sprang apart, hands flying to their weapons as a figure emerged from the shadows. A figure clad in billowing black robes, a silver scorpion pendant gleaming at his throat. Well, well, the man drawled, his voice smooth as silk and sharp as a scimitar. What a touching reunion. The star-crossed lovers, together again at last. Samantha's blood ran cold, her grip tightening on her gun. She knew that voice, that cruel mocking tone, echoing from the depths of her most brutal memories. Rashid, she breathed. But how? I watched you die in the temple of Anubis. I put a bullet in your heart myself. The man laughed, throwing back his hood to reveal a horribly familiar face. Swarthy skin, blade-sharp cheekbones, eyes black as pitch and twice as soulless. The face of a man she'd once trusted. A man who'd betrayed her in the most vicious way imaginable. Oh, my dear Samantha, haven't you learned by now? Rashid spread his arms, 
a mocking smile playing about his cruel lips. Men like me don't die so easily. He took a step forward, sand swirling around his boots. But then, you always were a slow learner. So blinded by your obsession with the past, with the treasures of the ancients. His gaze flicked to Declan, smoldering with malice. With the men who will always choose gold and glory over your precious heart. Samantha flinched as if struck, the words striking at her deepest insecurities, her most closely guarded fears. Beside her, Declan stiffened, a low growl rumbling in his throat. You know nothing of my heart, he spat. Or of the choices I've made. Rashid's laughter was a blade scraping over bone. Don't I? I was there that night in Cairo, you fool. I saw you take the amulet and leave your pretty little partner to bleed out in the gutter. His teeth flashed, white and sharp. Some things never change. And Samantha, for all her fire and brilliance, will always be second to your first love. The hunt. The prize. Samantha's heart seized, doubt and dread coiling like vipers in her gut. Was he right? Was she setting herself up for heartbreak all over again, falling for Declan's honeyed words and heated kisses? Declan must have sensed her hesitation, her fear. He reached out, lacing his fingers with hers in a grip strong enough to bruise. You're wrong, he said, quiet and fierce. Samantha is my heart. My home? All the treasure in the world means nothing without her by my side. He turned to face her gray eyes blazing with a love so intense it stole her breath. I was a fool once. A selfish bastard, too obsessed with glory to see the real prize right in front of me. But I've changed, Sam. I swear it on my life. His hand tightened on hers, an anchor in the storm. You're my everything. And I will spend every day for the rest of eternity proving that to you, if you'll let me. Tears blurred Samantha's vision, Hope and love and soul-deep longing surging through her veins like liquid gold. She opened her mouth to answer, to pledge her own devotion, her own unwavering faith. But Rashid's mocking laughter cut her off, cruel and grating. How touching, he sneered. The thief and the scholar vowing eternal love among the ruins. He raised a hand, silver rings flashing on every finger. I'm afraid I have more pressing matters to attend to. Like claiming the Eye of Ra and eliminating the competition. More figures emerged from the shadows, black clad and bristling with weapons. The sons of Circuit, their eyes glinting with menace and greed. Samantha and Declan moved instinctively, pressing back to back as the mercenaries closed in. Declan, Samantha breathed, heart pounding a desperate rhythm against her ribs. If we don't make it out of this. Hush, love. Declan's voice was steady, sure. We will. And when we do. He glanced over his shoulder, a ghost of his old roguish grin quirking his lips. When we do, I'm going to marry you. Objections be damned. Despite the danger, despite the fear, Samantha found herself grinning back. I'll hold you to that. Assuming we survive the next five minutes. Never doubted it for a second treasure. Then the sons of Circuit were upon them, and there was no more time for words. Only the clash of steel, the thunder of gunfire, and the pounding of two hearts, intertwined as they'd always been meant to be. The battle raged like a desert storm, fierce and unrelenting. Samantha and Declan moved as one, anticipating each other's every breath, every step, as if the years apart had never been. Gunfire split the air, ricocheting off ancient stone, the acrid scent of smoke and blood tainting the wind. Samantha's injured arm throbbed with every movement, every shot fired, but she gritted her teeth and pushed through the pain. She'd fought too hard, sacrificed too much, to let a little thing like a bullet stop her now. The eye of R.A. was within her grasp, a shimmering promise of redemption, of closure for the aching void that had haunted her for so long. And Declan. Declan was at her side, his presence a blazing beacon in the chaos. His eyes met hers over the fray, stormy gray and fathomless blue, a thousand unspoken words simmering between them. Love and longing, regret and resolve. 
an unbreakable bond forged in the crucible of hardship and heartache. Together, they cut a path through the Sons of Circuit, a whirlwind of flashing blades and cracking gunshots. Black-clad bodies fell like scattered leaves, staining the sand crimson. But for every mercenary they felled, two more seemed to take their place, an endless tide of greed and malice. At the center of it all stood Rashid, his laughter ringing out like a death knell. He watched the carnage with a serpent smile, cold and cruel, the silver scorpion pendant at his throat glinting like a promise of venom to come. You cannot win, he called, his voice cutting through the clamor like a blade. The eye is mine as it always has been, as it was ordained by the gods themselves. Samantha snarled, planting a bullet between the eyes of a charging mercenary. The gods have nothing to do with it, you megalomaniacal bastard, she spat. This is about greed, plain and simple. The same greed that's driven you to lie, cheat, and kill for as long as I've known you. Rashid's eyes flashed, his smile sharpening. And what has driven you, my dear Samantha? The noble pursuit of knowledge? The selfless desire to preserve the past? He scoffed, a sound like silk tearing. No, you're driven by the same thing I am the same thing that drives all men in the end. Power. Samantha flinched, the words striking a chord deep within her. How many times had she pushed herself to the brink, risked everything and everyone in pursuit of the next big find? How many nights had she lain awake, haunted by the thirst to uncover one more secret, solve one more mystery, no matter the cost? But then her gaze found Declan, his face streaked with sweat and sand, his eyes blazing with a love that took her breath away. And she knew, with a bone-deep certainty, that Rashid was wrong. You're right, she said, calm and clear amid the chaos. I have been driven by power, by the need to prove myself, to be the best, to never feel weak or helpless again. She took a step forward, ignoring the burn of her wound, the weariness in her bones. But that's not what drives me now. Not anymore. Rashid's eyes narrowed, a flicker of unease passing over his face. And what does, pray tell? Samantha smiled, fierce and bright. Love? She said simply. The love of a good man, who sees me for all that I am, flaws and scars and stubborn pride, and loves me anyway. The love of the work, of uncovering the mysteries of the past, not for glory or gain, but for the sheer joy of discovery. The love of life itself, in all its messy, painful, beautiful complexity. She raised her gun, aiming it squarely at Rashid's black heart. That's what drives me, Rashid. And that's why you'll never win. Because in the end, love will always triumph over greed. Over hate. Over the darkness that eats away at your shriveled excuse for a soul. Rashid's face contorted, a snarl of rage twisting his swarthy features. Pretty words, he spat. But words won't save you. Won't save your precious Declan or the priceless treasure you both covet so dearly. He raised a hand, silver rings flashing in the merciless sun. Kill them, he commanded, voice dripping with venom. Kill them both and bring me the eye. I want to see the light fade from their eyes as I claim my prize. The sons of Circuit surged forward, a black tide of death and destruction. Samantha and Declan braced themselves, guns blazing, hearts pounding in unison. This was it. The final stand, the moment of truth. But even as they fought, even as they bled and sweated and tore through their enemies like avenging angels, Samantha felt a strange sense of peace settle over her. A certainty, bone deep and unshakable, that this was where she was meant to be. At Declan's side, fighting for love, for knowledge, for the chance to build a future together amid the ruins of the past. And then, through the smoke and the sand and the screams of the dying, she saw it. A glint of gold, a flash of emerald, winking at her from the hollow of the cobra statue's throat. The eye of Ra the treasure she'd spent half a lifetime searching for. Samantha lunged, heedless of the bullets whizzing past, the blade slashing at her heels. She stretched out a hand, fingers grazing sun-warmed metal, 
only to be knocked aside by a crushing blow, her gun skittering across the blood-soaked sand. Rashid loomed over her, his eyes twin pits of obsidian, his lips curled in a sneer of triumph. Foolish girl, he hissed, pressing the barrel of his gun to her sweat-damp brow. Did you really think you could best me? I, who have cheated death itself. Samantha glared up at him, defiant to the last. I already have, she rasped, tasting copper on her tongue. In all the ways that matter. Rashid's finger tightened on the trigger, his face a mask of murderous rage, only to jerk back, eyes widening in shock and pain. He staggered, gun falling from nerveless fingers, a bloom of crimson spreading across his chest. Behind him stood Declan, smoking pistol in hand, his face a grim mask of determination. Get away from my wife, you son of a bitch, he growled. Rashid crumpled, choking on his own blood, life leeching from his eyes like poison from a wound. Samantha struggled to her feet, Declan's arm around her waist, his heart beating a fierce tattoo against her own. Around them the battle had stilled, the last of the sons of circuit fleeing or falling before the wrath of the desert wind. In the sudden silence, the only sound was their own ragged breathing, the soft whisper of sand against stone. Wife, huh? Samantha asked, a tremulous smile tugging at her lips. Declan grinned, fierce and bright. You heard me, treasure. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. He cupped her face in his calloused hands, thumb brushing away the blood and tears streaking her cheeks. Samantha Ray, will you marry me? Here now, amid the ruins of the past and the promise of the future? Samantha's heart swelled, joy and love and bone-deep certainty burning through her like a cleansing flame. Yes, she whispered, leaning in to brush her lips against his. Yes, Declan Shaw. For now and always. They sealed their vow with a kiss desert wind swirling around them like a benediction. And, as they parted, eyes shining with love and laughter, Samantha reached out and plucked the eye of Ara from its ancient resting place. The gem pulsed in her hand, warm and alive, a promise of adventure and mystery and a love that would endure through the ages. Samantha smiled, feeling the last fragments of her shattered heart click into place, made whole by the steadfast devotion of the man at her side. Come on, treasure, Declan murmured, lacing his fingers with hers. Let's go home. And hand in hand, hearts entwined, they walked out of the ruins of Zerzura and into the shimmering heat of the desert, ready to face whatever mysteries and adventures the future might hold. Together, as they were always meant to be.